When you first launch 92nd Website Builder, you start off normally with a blank canvas or an empty project. And the name of this project is Untitled, as it shows up here in the top of the screen. You can also see that it starts you off with an untitled project if you go over to the Site Manager, because this is also the name of your current project. Now it's a good idea, obviously, to save your work as you go. I like to save my project when I first start building a website, just to make good practice of saving your work as you go. You go up to the File menu, and you can choose Save Website. Of course, this is all I'm going to do is Save Website. Since this is the first time I've saved this website, I'd choose this option and call it something. As I continue to work with my project, of course, there's also the option to Save Website As. And if you are familiar with any Windows application, you know there's a big difference between Save and Save As. When I do a Save As, it means I want to save an additional copy of this project in some particular form. And for 90 Second Website Builder, there are three different kinds of ways you can save a project as. So, for example, I could save this as an HTML document instead of a WBS project. I could actually export my files into HTML form. Now, you rarely use this because this is also the equivalent of just simply publishing your project locally. When you publish your project locally, you are basically exporting your pages to an HTML format so that you not only have the original WBS project, but also the generated HTML files. So that's one option. You can also save your project as a template, which is a slightly different format that can be used in 90 Second Website Builder. We'll talk about that in a video when we talk about using templates. Most of the time, you're just going to save your project as the standard WBS file. That's the name of a file that 90 Second Website Builder normally works with. But as I said, in this case, since I'm just saving this project for the first time, I'm going to do a Save Website. That brings up the window where I can name my project, which I will do down here. I'm just going to call it My Website. And it's going to save, of course, as a WBS. Before I save it, let me talk to you about where I am in my computer system because it's rather important to know where you save your projects. For best results, the ideal situation is to always save your WBS projects inside your My Documents folder, which contains a folder called 90 Second Website Builder. Let me show you the structure of that here. On my particular computer, I'm inside a My Documents folder. Sometimes this is just called Documents. In my case, it's called My Documents. And inside my My Documents folder, is a folder called 90 Second Website Builder. Now this directory is not something that I have created or you will have created. It's something that the software created when you installed 90 Second Website Builder initially onto your computer. It knows to create this directory called 90 Second Website Builder and put it inside your My Documents folder because this is the place where you really want to store all of your WBS projects. So again, I'll go inside here. Now in my case, you can see I actually have several WBS projects. You might not have any right now, but I've been working with this on this computer for some time. So I have a number of files, uh, WBS files, as well as their corresponding assets folder, which I'll talk about in a minute. Let me just save the project that I've opened up, which is a blank website project. I'm calling my website. I'm going to click Save. So now you can see the top of the screen shows me the name of this project. And if I go back to the Site Manager, again, the name of my project is my website. Even though I haven't done any design yet, I have, in fact, saved a project, although it is empty. But for the sake of showing you how projects are saved and open, let's go back to the File menu, and this time go to Open Website. Again, notice I am in that folder called 90 Second Website Builder, which is a folder inside my, my Documents. Sometimes people save their projects and they may accidentally save them someplace else on their computer and forget where they are and wonder why they can't find their work. So it's just a good idea to always check this. Make sure you're saving your project inside My Documents 90 Second Website Builder directory. If we scroll down here, we can see the project that I saved that I just called My Website. Here it is, saved today's date. You'll also notice that even though I just saved this project and have done nothing else, you'll find in this same folder an assets folder, it's called, a directory also called my website. This is a folder that the software just automatically created for me because whenever you save a project, 
90 second website builder will create what's called an assets folder by the same name. So I called my project my website and saved it as a WBS file. The software saved that project and created a corresponding assets folder by the same name. Now this assets folder is something that the software uses to store images as I drag and drop them onto my canvas. Here's why. Sometimes you may pull an image onto your project, say from your computer's desktop, or maybe from another location in your computer system. And since you're pulling images from many different places, the software has to remember where all of these images come from. So what it does is it makes a copy of those images, stores them inside what's called an assets folder right here, and keeps them all in place so that your project will always have access to those images. Now, all of this happens in the background, so you never really have to know about this or do anything about it because the software is taking care of it for you. In fact, I rarely ever look in any of these files because I don't need to. It's the software's way of keeping track of copies of my images so that they stay intact for my project. So having said that, it's always important to know that if you were for some reason to ever to move this WBS file to another location, and it's not a good idea to do that unless of course you have to, or maybe you're sharing this project with someone else or moving it to another computer system, you're going to want to always also move its corresponding assets folder so that the assets and the project stay together in the same directory. Let me show you another example. This time I'm going to open up a project that actually has some images on it. So I'll go to File, Open Website, and this time let's open up a project that I actually have some work on. Here's a project I've called 24-7 Web Talk. If I open up this website, you can see that I have a number of images and other things that are part of this website that's in progress. Now, if I were to go to the 90 Second Website Builder directory, where this website is stored. Again, let's go back to open website. Remember, I all I did was I opened up this WBS project. If I were to look inside its corresponding assets folder right here and change this to show all files, here are the images that 90 Second Website Builder has made copies of and is storing so that it knows how to display these later in the project. Again, you never really need to go in here. I'm just showing you what happens in the background. So I'm going to cancel out of this. Another thing you should know as you're saving and opening projects is that you can toggle between multiple website projects. As you can see, I work with this a lot and I create a lot of websites. So if I want to open up a different website, a fast way to do that is to go to the file and just simply go to recent documents. Here it will display up to 10 of the most recent documents. So for example, here's the most recent one where we're at now, 24 seven web talk. Or if I wanted to go back to the one I was just at my website, which was the blank one I started at, all I do is simply click here and instantly that project opens up for me. While that's very simple, it's actually really critical to stay organized and remember where you're keeping your projects. I recommend always saving your WBS project inside the my documents 90 second website builder folder so that everything stays organized. And again, make sure your assets folder and the WBS project always stay together. By doing that, you'll be able to better exploit the power of using 90 Second Website Builder, especially if you're building multiple projects and multiple websites. So it's a good idea to save your work as you go, which you can do, of course, by going to the file menu or clicking this little save button, or if you want to click control S just to make sure your work's always saved as you go as you're working with 90 Second Website Builder.